Staying fit in the holiday season can be challenging. It's easy to consume calories and carbs, but if you exercise, you can avoid packing on the pounds. I would say that the gym's a perfect excuse to eat all that stuff, right? You know, I'm still gonna indulge. This is my job, this is my profession, but I'm still gonna eat that slice of pumpkin pie, but I'm gonna use the gym and some exercise to kind of validate that. Ian Bloom is a trainer at Crunch Fitness in Blaine. Trying to stop it at the top. All sinking into those hips. There we go, beautiful. He believes you can have your cake, pie, stuffing, and eat it too as long as you put in some exercise time. If you can kind of get in that mindset of, all right, I'm going to treat myself to this dessert, but i got to make it to the gym for at least 60 minutes today or something along those lines. If you can find that happy medium in life, it should be all right. No one's going to come out of that heavy Christmas dinner uh, fully affected by that forever. As the clock ticks down on 2022, Bloom knows that many people are going to make fitness resolutions for 2023. His tip is to start slow and stay the course. If you come in here and you try and force something, you're probably not gonna stick with it. Um, and it, it might not feel like you're changing the world, but if you just hop on the treadmill for 30 minutes a day and that's, that's what you wanna do, that's perfect. If you do wanna try those weights, as long as you're doing it in a safe capacity, there's no, nothing wrong with that. The Crunch clientele runs the gamut, from young to old, from fit to trying to get fit. But some people come in with a microwave mindset and want instant results, which is not realistic. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You don't have to be coming in here seven days a week. It's, it's just about finding an outlet for you. And if you can kind of find a little bit easier of a routine, I think there's more of a chance you stick with it. Instead of going, all right, I'm gonna to go to the gym for two hours a day, starting January 1st and go as long as it, you're probably gonna get burnt out pretty quickly. If you can kind of dabble into it, use it as an appetizer, work your way up to the entree, you're probably gonna last a little bit longer. From cardio to weights, Bloom says there are many options for getting in shape. There's so many different ways to train in the gym, right? If, if, you're a, if you are a big walker, if that's what you like to do, we got treadmills. Um, you can bike, you can lift weights. Um, we obviously have the pool for your swimmers. Uh, but that's the, that's the beauty of the, of the indoor gym, is just being able to have that many more avenues to find the, the exercise of choice that you enjoy. It's never too late to jumpstart your fitness routine. Bloom believes the best holiday present you can give yourself is the gift of exercise. I couldn't agree more. I th you know, I think um, I'm of the belief where you, you got one body. It's the best tool that you'll ever be given in life. I don't think, I think it's a crime not to use it. So go ahead and put some whipped cream on that pumpkin pie. It's all good as long as you stick with a fitness routine. You just got to find that equilibrium of fitness, uh, whether it's exercise, whatever your routine is, and then you can feel free to indulge in all the, all the wintry goodness that there is in the, in the foods and meals that come with it.